What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. This time, it's going to be narrated perfectly. So, <clears throat> as you guys can see, we are back in the Kalos region, as promised, and, uh, believe it or not, yeah, huh, this is like my second time doing, you know, going back to the beginning and all that stuff, because, well, yeah, your boy, he kind of had a change of heart with certain stuff in the game. Didn't really like it. So, yes, you boy right here wants to make it perfect. And we're going to do it perfectly right here with Pokemon Y. So, here we go. I am Augustine Sycamore of the Kalos region. The very own Pokemon professor. Yeah, he's got pretty nifty hair and all that stuff. And look at this. He's got a... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of this Pokemon. But, yes, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. And, well, these mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and others just swim deep in the oceans. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Alrighty, so let's get started here with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Obviously, by the sound of my voice, yes. Manly man, and for the first time in Pokemon game history, that's, that's, that's quite a few years ago and all that stuff. You have the option of changing up the appearance of your Pokemon trainer. There's obviously the original. Then you got a blonde, blue-eyed kind of Pokemon trainer. And, of course, you know, the mocha-haired, brown-eyed, black-haired kind of guy. Studly man myself. Yes, that is me. Oh, I see. Would you tell me your name? Well, you guys already know. It's me. It's me. It's GLD. It is Draven. Okay, again, coming back into the Kalos region, this time to do things right. Well, I did things right in Pokemon X, but I kind of want to change it up right here. There's just been a little bit of a change up. So it's Draven then. Then I get that. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. I didn't get it right, or I didn't say it right. Draven! Draven! What a fantastic name! Draven, your adventure begins now. You are about to embark on a new adventure. Go meet many Pokemon and friends and yada yada yada. Get in there! Dick? Okay, guys. So, unlike our Pokemon X walkthrough, we don't have to worry about turning on the internet every so freaking time just for a Pokemon game. No, this is a capture card one, and we can do whatever the heck we want. Look at that. We're in our PJs and all that stuff. So, first things first, we got to get dressed up, guys, because we got to look the part. We look good. We train good. We battle good. That's right. Try saying that. And we change out of the pajamas and let us go downstairs and talk to our mama. And believe it or not, right here, yes, mom has a room of her own. And she's going to be coming up to us and going to be like, Morning, Draven. You sure slept well. All rested up, uh, from um, the move. It's about time to get going. Uh, why don't you step out and say hello to your neighbors? Whatever you say, mama. Now, funny thing is, guys, this, this game also, well, it's a game of first. 3D, changing up the character. And, well, look at this. Our mama has her own room. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Mom finally has a room. Okay, let's step outside and see what happens right here. And, uh, well, would you look at that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to like Kalos. The girls are already swarming to your boy Draven right here. And, uh, well... We get Serena here telling us, Welcome to Vanneville Town. My name is Serena. I'm your neighbor. And I'm Shauna. Great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. The esteemed Pokemon Professor uh, Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I was told that I was told he has a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a little surprised that he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanneville after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon. Come on, hurry, let's go. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. How did he know that we were going to move in? That is the mystery of life right there. So, as you guys can see right here, not much of a town. No, not much of a town. 
We don't really need to do anything except go into the next town and run over to Route 1, Veneville Pathway, into Aquacord Town. And yes, we're getting called by our, our new friends, and I guess, you know, these are the Power Rangers or the Pokemon Rangers. We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. I'm going to take a drink right here. Thank you. And this is, this is the meeting place, Draven. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Draven. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on. So, Draven, this is Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves. And this is Trevor. He never misses a single question in his test, but he's a little shy. All right, nice to meet you. You know, it'd feel, it'd feel uh, like we're a closer crew if we just uh, call each other by our nicknames. Can I call you the D-Meister? Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Seriously. <laughs> Why did my name have to start with an with a D? What? No way! He's a little D for sure. Oh my God, this is so inappropriate. And then Trevor, you're putting him on the spot right here. What? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Shauna, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Well, how about something low key? Maybe something like Big D. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh man, I am going to Pokey Hell. I am seriously going to be going to Pokey Hell. Oh my god. Why don't you decide uh, what we should call you? Well, you got <coughs> you got the three. D <laughs> well, before I started coughing again, you got the three D's right here. You got Lil D, which is totally not me, the D Meister, back in college, and Big D, what some people call me. But I'm not going to do this because this is a kid's game. We're going to be calling ourselves the same name as always. We're going to be calling ourselves Sensei because it's age appropriate, okay? So there you go, Sensei. You, you all shall call me Sensei because I will be the Sensei afterwards. And, well, yes, you want us to call us call you Sensei? Yes. Okay, Sensei fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're going to be a great friend, so I'll call you that, too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I want to meet my new partner pretty soon here. I know, right? <laughs> it was such a cool feeling when, when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did, too. Alrighty, so here we have the three Pokemon from the Kalos region. You're going to be starting off with a Chespin, a Finnekin, and a Froakie. Now, if you guys remember, back in Pokemon X, we chose the ever-popular Froakie because, well, you know, he he's, he's awesome. Hands down, he is the most awesome starter ever. Now, I did say I was going to do things differently in this walkthrough. Um, I did erase the initial 15 episodes that I, I did um, record for this walkthrough mainly because I started Froakie again and it didn't make any sense because of the path that I was going to go to so I'm exiting him out don't worry you will see you will see Kakashi Hitake pretty soon here so it's down to these two Pokemon and since you know I'm actually doing Pokemon X again behind the scenes just so I can trade and you know do things I already got Chespin in that game so it's gonna leave us with the fire type Pokemon Finnegan yes okay Finnegan you shall be mine and it is mine all right cool cool fantastic fantastic all right would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname yes I will okay it's a very easy nickname because of the evolutionary line to this, but I shall bequeath the name to Ben Finnegan. It shall be called Star Fox. That's right, because well, it eventually turns into a psychic type Pokemon, and uh, that's going to benefit us a little bit longer. Ah, oh, so you've decided on the nickname Star Fox. Yes, I have. Okay, my partner's Chespin. Wow. We go together, great. The two of us are just way, way a too cool. I can't even read that. Nice to meet you, Froakie. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. 
Uh, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. And look at this. We get ourselves a Pokedex, which will actually, yeah, it will actually help us out. So, let's go ahead and grab that. And the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get you get one is because the professor wants us uh, to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it in another way, it's an important mission from the professor. I'm sure of it. Oh, light enough, Trevs. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Sensei, please take these with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said that you should give it to your mom. Okay, why is the professor sending letters to my mama? I want to know. All right, we're done with our errand from the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go for, or we'll go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. Hmm. Okay, the best of buds. And the ladies right here, you know, because it's probably because I got long hair too. I don't know. In Kalos, kids are chosen by uh, to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure, but you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. You know, when you're right, you're right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Star Fox. Again, not the most popular choice, but I kind of need to because, well, uh, your boy. Well, well, you know what? I'm going to explain in, in, in later episodes what, what my reasoning was. But as you guys can see right here, we got Star Fox, the Fennekin. It is a pure fire type Pokemon. Its nature right now is a naughty nature. And it's a its physical attack will go up, but its special defense is going to be lowered. Obviously, it does have the blaze uh, effect or ability. And it does have three good moves, Scratch, Tail Whip, and Ember. This is the first time in, like, many games where the starter Pokemon has its elemental type uh, attack. So that's, that's a big plus for us right there. Anywho, <clears throat> let's go ahead and move on ahead. Now, before anything starts up... Here we have, uh, Miss Little Lady here. She's like, Sensei, wait! You're gonna be my opponent in the Pokemon Battling debut. Okay, little chessman. It's our first battle. Let's win it with style. Okay. So here it is, guys, our very first Pokemon battle, and it happens to be against Shauna. And she is gonna be coming out with a chessman. All right, chessman. Let's get it. And here we have Star Fox. Now, I don't know who's at least popular, Chespin or, or Fennekin, but I know the most popular Pokemon is uh, is Froakie, just because of what it eventually turns into and what happened in the anime. You know, stuff like that. And there you go. Say goodbye to Chespin, and I uh, get myself... So many experience points that Star Fox goes to level 6. This is awesome right here. Look at that. Okay. And Shauna, not so happy right now. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little chessman yet. Too bad. I get some of your money. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> You're amazing, Sensei. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon. But I only use one move. Say hi to your mom for me. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here and go straight back to Vanderbilt Town. Look at us, the thumbnail. And, well, we're going to be going back to our mama. See what she has to say. She's probably worried sick or something. There she is, and she's like, so, what did you do, what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait a second, Draven. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon, lucky you! How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations. Question mark. Huh. A letter for me. It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Probably, because if it is, he's going to get some knuckle sandwiches from me. Wow. What a lovely handwriting. Hmm. What do we have here? A request. Oh, I see. Draven. We've barely unpacked, and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you on. Uh, let's get you and Fennekin ready for your journey. Hmm. What do you mean? Will she give us something? Probably. Well, she's gonna be giving us something. And she, here she is. Here you are, Draven. I even packed a change of clothes. My, my, what an unexpected turn of events! It's just like a, a sudden uh, last burst of speed from a racer in the Rhyhorn race. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, 
and now you get to take a uh, lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. We got ourselves a map. This is good. Fantastic. You know how to use a town map, right? Yes, I do. That's my boy. Select the town map from your bag whenever you want to see you use it. I don't know what what this Professor Sycamore wants to see, wants you to see on the, your trip, but taking a journey with your Pokemon is a really wonderful experience. That is a very, very wonderful experience. Now, we're going to step outside and uh, finish off with this. We got this Rhyhorn right here. He's just roaring, and he and Mama's like... <laughs> what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off before your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born, after all. Good luck, Draven. Go for broke, and don't worry. You'll have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. That's right, my mama. You gotta love my mama. Anywho, guys, we're gonna pause it right here. In the next episode, we're gonna be going straight to our adventure. Kicking butts, taking names, the whole nine yards. We'll see how long that lasts, but... Thank you guys again for being supportive. Thank you guys again for being um, patient as always, especially with, you know, the whole cough thing going on right here. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.